Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the next video tutorial of shop, uh, online fast food project in ASP.NET Core. So first of all design the uh, cart index page uh, where we, your uh, order total is there like uh, uh, also the price item is there and the quantities is there and uh, uh, increment quantity and decrement quantity button is there so uh, the all are actually included in your card okay so so this is your cart informations where your model is there and the cart order model is there okay so uh, uh, model dot list of card dot count is greater than zero so uh, you can say that uh, if uh, if you have any item in the list uh, then uh, just uh, display the information about the items of the uh, card as well as the price and as well as uh, your quantity and uh, the order total if it is not there then you will see uh, or uh, item is not added in in the card okay so these are the actually it's a template where we have three buttons plus minus and the delete button okay so just uh, run your project and you will see that uh, the template of your card wait for some time uh, it will take some time uh, to run on your browser okay uh, okay so finally it will run and you will see that only one is there it's not a card uh, any icon of the card so it will later uh, uh, it uh, after a few seconds I will solve this uh, types of things and here we have a cart information so increment uh, decrement and the delete um, uh, icon is visible and the od order total is uh, in the form of the USD that is ten dollar for your fast food so here we have so just working on the plus minus and the delete uh, button if uh, plus I mean to say that just get the information of the cart and uh, you, you you can say that uh, card count is there um, any um, uh, item in the card so just get the quantity of the card uh, just increment by, by one when we uh, click on the first time or on each click you can increment by one in the card information so here we have a card first of all get by the id and the card dot count is increment by one and also changes in the database the same thing you can do with the minus okay uh, but in the minus you can say that uh, if you have only single item in the card then you can say that it's not a minus uh, it's not a subtract uh, item from uh, the card it's a delete item from the card you can say so uh, on the my uh, on the minus button or you can say on the subtract button you you can add this this types of logic if the cart item uh, or you can say that uh, cart dot count is double equals to one then you will say that it's not a remove uh, or you can say not subtract by one uh, it's a delete by uh, it's a delete the uh, the whole item from the cart you can say so uh, that logic will be applied also in the subtract okay so uh, before doing that types of uh, things in the uh, subtract uh, I it will run and I will check that it's working or not okay so it's working now now just add that thing in the uh, minus action method okay and right here just before your card dot count is minus one uh, add by value operator just you can check if card dot count is double equals to one then remove the item from the cart and your cart uh, list is empty now okay so everything is clear okay and uh, so context dot carts dot remove and the items so cart is removed from the cart and context dot save changes so very well uh, it's it's an amazing thing you can uh, add right here if you want to add a drop down list looking like the Amazon then you will uh, 
then you will do this by using the partial page okay so uh, here we have you can use uh, that types of things in the in the form of the buttons or you can say in the form of the icons so if the cart dot count is double equals to one then remove the item from the cart so uh, remove the cart from the uh, database table and if it is not it is one it is two uh, and more than one you can say that it's an uh, subtract by one okay now the next thing you can do with the remove or you can say that delete so uh, just when we press a, uh, when we press a delete icon then uh, uh, data removed from the cart so uh, there is an uh, nothing to do here that is cart item dot count is one that is whole uh, items uh, just i want to remove from the cart so that's logic will be applied that right here so context dot carts dot remove cart okay so uh, very well now the next thing you can do with the session and just when we add any item in the cart that increase that cart item will be incremented so right now uh, i am using session right here okay so first of all check it now and here you can see uh, when we press any uh, icon that is the minus the item uh, or you can say the cart is removed from the uh, shopping cart okay so no item added to the shopping cart that message will be display on in your shopping cart okay and you can say that when we click on the details button and add to cart there is no increment right here okay and uh, only one item uh, in the cart but you can say that it's not updated okay so uh, just you can use session right here if you want to use session then you can just uh, uh, do with the uh, http context okay so by using the http context you can use session and in the session uh, just add the count value so you know that the session is working with the uh, uh, with the key value pair so in the home controller session of your customer then uh, where you can add any item in the cart so uh, just on the detail section you can see that customer home and details so item will be incremented by one if any item if if we any uh, different item is added right now so where count equals to context dot carts dot where see uh, application user id dot claims dot value so http context dot session dot set integer 32 that is the method http context dot session dot set integer 32 session card that that is the key of the session that is the session card and the value that is the count where your user id so the count value will be passed in the session card okay so number of items uh, number of different items is uh, display on your uh, shopping cart okay how many items is right now so that is the value on the display with the uh, value of the uh, identity user or you can say uh, claims value o on the basis of the claims value just got uh, any uh, number of items in the cart that will uh, uh, added in the session so just add first of all any item in the cart first of all so details add to cart it's not incremented because it's already added in the cart then you can see that there is the three num number of quantity is three only one item in the cart so oops just again and just add the next item in the cart that is burger so here we have two items in the cart thank you very much for watching this